If you are the type of person who goes to the gym and doesn't stretch, I'm with you. <laughs> I like to stretch on my own time separately from going to the gym. If you had a workout and you're like, I need a good stretch, this is for you. <laughs> good and you want a little bit more, take that top hand to your low back and breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and switch sides coming up. Take the other hand under, coming to the left shoulder and then the right hand can go to the back. Again, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath. Just try to turn a little bit more towards the ceiling and come out. All right, coming to our tabletop, drop the belly for your first cow and round the back into cat. Breathe in, cow. Exhale, cat. Breathe in, cat. Exhale, cat. Come back, downward facing dog, but send the heels as low as they'll go and walk your hands right back. Take a rag doll, catch opposite elbows and just let your upper body hang out. You can sway from side to side like me or stay completely still, breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands back to your down dog, but shift forward into a high plank. Let's melt down all the way to the floor. Point the toes back, press into the tops of the feet, coming all the way upward facing dog. Now I know we want to transition away from the up dog. Usually we go up dog, down dog, but right here just stay in the up dog. Pull the shoulders back, getting tall to the chest. Breathe in, pull the crown of your head up. And then tuck the toes, brace the belly, and push back, downward facing dog. And we'll do that again. Come forward, high plank. Come down to the belly. Press into the tops of the feet. Brace the belly. Come up, shoulders back. Eyes up. And then roll into the toes. Downward dog. Let's take your right foot forward, staying nice and low. Okay, press into your right foot and those back left toes. Breathe in and breathe out. Now send your right hand up towards the sky, breathe in. Exhale, come down. Breathe in, exhale. One more, breathe in. Exhale, fingertips down, bend the back left knee, and we're going to hop up standing split. Breathe in, breathe out. Now walk your fingers to the top edge of the mat, lifting a little bit away from that right leg, and open up, half moon. Okay, see if you can bend your knee, open up the chest for five, four, three, two, and one, release it, feet together, let's come into our half lift, brace the belly, and fold again, rise up, full body stretch, when you're up, catch your right wrist, and pull, breathe in, breathe out, come back up, Take your right foot behind your left foot and pull again. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back, let's do the other side. Feet in line with each other, opening up. Breathe in, breathe out. And 
then send your left foot behind the right and keep pulling. Ah, and come back to center. Let's step back to the very back of the mat. Sweep the arms up and bend and bow forward nice and slow. Walk your fingers up. Come down, hover if you can. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Let's step the left foot up. Okay, standing nice and low in the hips. Stay for a breath in. And a breath out. Guide your left hand up. Stretch. Exhale down. Breathe and twist. Exhale down. One more. Breathe and twist, twist, twist. Send both hands down. Walk them to the top edge of the mat. Bend the back knee. Hop up. Standing split. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay here or open up half moon. Bend the back knee. Catch the foot. Open up the heart for five. Four, three, two, and one. Release everything down. Take your time. Bring the feet together. Sit and roll all the way onto the back. Sway the knees from side to side. Whew. Okay. Now take your legs straight up to the sky. Hook both toes if you can reach. If not, grab the backs of the knees and open up the feet. Taking the legs out into a big V for straddle. Now, if you can hold on to the toes, go for it. If you are still hands to the knees, that's okay too. Wherever you are, rock out the low back. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring the knees back in, take thread the needle, taking your right ankle on top of the left and hook through. And give yourself uh, space and time to allow your upper body, your lower body to relax. Anywhere you're feeling tension or that uh, feeling of stuckness, just as you stay, just sense that the body will eventually give way and make space for deeper stretching. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. And let it go. Release your feet. Let's take them down towards the floor. Walk the feet out and take the knees in very gently. You can take your hands to the thighs and gently push. Can you feel this in the low back a little bit? And send the knees back up and go into the other side. Thread the needle, left ankle to the right thigh and hug in. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath, and exhale. And release the feet back down, kick the legs up. Let's take the right leg, drop the left, and switch. 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 And switch. Take your knees down. Let's roll over to our right side, taking a little side plank position. Relaxing the belly, relaxing the legs, just closing the eyes. Have a mindful moment, thanking yourself for your practice, thanking yourself for where you are, where you've landed. We work out, we move our bodies. And just like you would tell a friend or a family member how incredible they are, you can you can do the same for yourself. Give yourself all of the love and acknowledgement that you deserve. Breathe 
breathe in and let it go. You can stay resting. If you need more rest, please stay. If you're ready to seal our stretch practice today, come up and meet me in a seated position. Wherever you are, again, be in acknowledgement and gratitude. I acknowledge you for taking this time for yourself. Namaste. Thank you. See you on your mat next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.